We're rolling! Hello! Making robots is kind of like the new thing. It's cool. I know I for one, I am down with it. My name is Fritz Lüneborg. This is my workshop in Denmark. I have a funny accent. And on my left, I have Rick from Holland via Skype. He also has a funny accent. Rick, tell me, what's the latest in hobby robo robotics? <laughs> Let's talk about this robot Patrick built. Patrick is from Florida and there's a lottery over there. And he is he, he, he stopped buying those lottery tickets, he just simulates the lottery and because he is in a hurry to virtually win something, he is simulating the lottery 100,000 times a second inside a little Arduino. So what he's done is he's made a machine that is actually simulating the, uh, the lottery and it's drawing, drawing 100,000 times per second. And, and he's uh, purchased six or five uh, virtual uh, numbers. And, and he's yep. doing the lottery over and over again, but he still haven't won. Okay, what else have you got for me, Rick? I've got a, a, a robot boat, or um, yeah, well, let's call it just a robot boat. All the puns. And it, it's uh, uh, it's Mr. built by uh, Jair Anderson, and it, it, the, the boat is beautifully made, and it it, 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 it steams around on the lakes, uh, mapping out the, the, the depth, the water depth, or rather the, the, the floor of the lakes and, and the fjords and, and the sea where it's uh, sailing. And it's remembering all that, it's doing it autonomously, and it uh, gives you very precise maps of the, the, the floor of the, the, of the lake which is for geologists and hydrologists very important and interesting data. And it can run for 24 hours on one uh, little lead acid battery and it, at, at 3 kilometers per hour it will do, uh, cover a lot of distance and uh, do a lot of mapping for you. And it will return home automatically to give you all the data. Cool. One thing you gotta do with that thing is to try to, f to track down the Loch Ness, obviously. Yeah, and see if anything is moving. <laughs> Okay, what else have you got? I think, I think Messi is a robot. When, when you finally find her, she turns out to be a, a, an 18th century robot or something designed by Leonardo da Vinci, I bet. <laughs> okay, what else have you got for me, Ray? Uh, uh, have you ever heard of a Splatbot? A, a Splatbot. Oh, this is Oddbot's thing. Yeah, Oddbot yeah. is doing some cool stuff. He's, he's from China, right? No, actually, he's from... No, he's, from he's from Australia, obviously. He's, he's from Australia, but he's working in China. Doing robots yeah. for 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 Doug you now. I mean, speaking of funny accents. Speaking of funny accents, yeah. And and this uh, robot that is made here, the Splatbot Mark II. Uh, what yeah. is it? What does it do? It it, it, it it has two bottles with uh, with water, and it can squirt them out using a little uh, windscreen washer uh, pump motor from a, from a car. Uh, it is on sitting on a, a six-wheel uh, platform. It drives around and it has a, a monitor arm like on a fire truck, and it can splat all its water uh, around. And if you put a little color in the water, uh, you could use it to uh, to write in in the sand or on the wall. And it has, has also uh, an infrared uh, detector, so that it can uh, actually observe all kinds of objects and follow them around. around. This, it kind of reminds me of something that, that I'm doing when it's snowing. Next project of this week, it's a musical entry. Uh, it's by Mr. Goose. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's just try to have a listen to what kind of music it makes. Yeah, and that, there is obviously uh, quite a lot of background noise there, so it, it's kind of hard to hear, but it's, it's, it's an impressive work. I'm sure he'll be uh, doing some upgrades uh, for it so you can better hear the, 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 the actual tones coming out from it. Cool project. It's also interesting from a technical standpoint. From a tactical standpoint? Te technical standpoint. Oh, it is. <laughs> my accent, Fritz. It's, uh, it, it, it driving solenoids so is never very easy. You have to be very careful about that. And he is driving them using a relay board, which itself needs protection against the over, over voltages and, 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 and back EMF effects. You have to be careful uh, with coils, uh, people. Okay. Interesting project. And something with music is always nice. Yeah. Speaking Let's... of coils. Speaking of coils, was that a segue, Rick? Yes, it is. Thunderbird number six by oh, the famous yeah. Gareth. 
by Gareth. Yes, this is basically an autonomous uh, metal detector that is that is supposed to be driving around on like the beach or in your yard and uh, find stuff of great value, such as such as uh, bottle caps, no, coins, or yeah, or, or actual coins, or, coins. or paper clips, or whatever you could find in the sand that is valuable to you. I mean, paper clips can be a very valuable building material. They can. And it, it has, of course, a coil that's the, the in the heart of the metal detector. It's just a toy, toy uh, that uh, he uh, well he bent a circuit uh, to attach it to his robot. He's added a servo to sweep the the detector over the ground. And he's built a little tracked uh, robot uh, that is driving it around. And well, if everything goes to plan, this robot will one day um, uh, find enough money to fund itself. <laughs> I love this project. I, I think it's a very cool concept. I would like to have that one. And it, it's looking cool as well. It's looking cool as well. But I think this robot would would make a, a great sales object as a toy or something. Imagine you you could just go ahead and buy a robot that you could put down on the ground. And it could, it would just drive out and it would stop beeping stop beeping when it when it found stuff that would, it would just be an awesome product all, all that is needed now is a little companion that would uh, trace it and dig up anything that uh, the detector <laughs> has found that would be very cool yes with a little trailer full of bottle caps okay rick this is all what we had time for uh, this week but uh, yes weeks are so short i'll be looking forward to seeing you next week same here see you bye <laughs>